You must have heard about the excellent night visions of tigers. But what if I tell you that for a considerable period they are actually blind? Or the fact that tigers possess false eyes? Oh yes, that's true. Tigers are arguably the most majestic creatures in the animal kingdom. With their iconic stripes, powerful bodies and fierce predatory behavior, tigers have inspired awe for generations. But what do we know about how these remarkable animals perceive the world around them? I am exploring several jungles in India for almost two decades and in this video, I am going to discuss how powerful is a tiger's eyesight, how different it is from human visual acumen, are tigers colorblind, how they get terrific night visions and such curious facts. I would like to start with a rather peculiar attribute of Royal Bengal Tiger on International Tiger Day. Not sure how many of you who have seen a tiger in wild or captivity have noticed, but tigers have prominent white markings on their ears. This false eye is a defensive strategy that keeps them safe. You may not immediately notice or think about it much, but when viewed from a specific angle, the ocellus look like large eyes, especially inside thick, dense bush. There's another theory according to which tigers use these eye spots as a form of aggressive communication and serve rather as a warning. When threatened, tigers tend to twist their ears so the backs face the front, exposing the white spots, as if they needed more intimidation tools. This theory is developed based on field observations of animal behavior, but sometimes it's just a spandrel or what is known as byproduct of evolution. It's like my mother who used to say I have a pair of eyes on my back too whenever in childhood she anticipated that I was about to do some mischief. And I believed in her for quite some time. These eye spots help tigers when they drink, a moment when they are particularly vulnerable. While drinking from a water body, tigers typically have their ears pinned back and as they are bending over, it appears that they have even larger eyes. This would scare any other animal who might think to take advantage of the situation as they are betricked into thinking the tiger was on alert. Out of all tiger sightings I have experienced across many national parks in India, the ones in Kaziranga are certainly my most memorable ones. They are not record sightings but of quality, so I got a chance to study the behavior of big cats. Those who have seen my Kaziranga Chronicle first and second episodes are already queued in as I captured my safari experience with great detailing about various wildlife. I was blessed with incredible tiger sightings too, which I will cover in much detail with ground information in future episodes. From eyes the size of a dinner plate to strange particle sized sophisticated eye to a 360 degree vision, the animal kingdom has it all. The small primates called tarsiers have the largest eye of any mammal relative to their body size. Each eye is about the same volume as the animal's brain with about 2.5 times more photoreceptive density than humans in their retina. Tarsiers' eyes are large but they don't move, meaning the primates must swivel their heads to scan their environment. Let's talk about a species we all of us are familiar with. Some species of dragonfly have more than 28,000 lenses per compound eye, a greater number than any other living creature. And with eyes covering most part of their entire head, they have nearly 360 degree vision too. Nocturnal geckos have super vision in dim light. Their eyes are 350 times more sensitive to color at night than humans. 
Researchers believe that colossal squid's eyes are the largest of any, any living creature, measuring over 27 centimeters in diameter, the size of a football. An ostrich's eye is bigger than its brain and is the largest eye of living land animal, measuring 5 centimeters across. The eyes of an arctic reindeer change color with the seasons from gold in the summer to blue in the winter. This technique allows them to make the most of their changing eye levels in their extreme habitat. But which animal has the best distance vision? None other than bald eagle. The acuity is approximately 7 to 8 times higher than humans and they not only see standard colors like us but also they see lights in ultraviolet spectrum. Cheetahs, the fastest land mammals on earth, also has the best quality of visions while running. So you see this comparison is somewhat inequitable in my opinion as every animal has best eyesight according to the adaptation required in their specific environment. Hello everyone, this is Ghosh from Out of the Den. I make well research videos regarding interesting nature, wildlife, astronomy and life experience subjects as part of my diverse areas of interest. I make short videos too where I offer tiger talk in a series essentially dedicated to discuss everything related to powerful and elusive panthera tigers. Now from the false eye of tigers, let's talk about the true eyesight of a tiger. Tigers possess an impressive vision that allows them to identify objects and movements in both broad daylight and near total darkness. Do we share any similarities or their eyesight is totally different from humans? Let's find out. The pupil of the human eye is different to the tiger eye because the pupil of the human is much smaller and round, while the tiger eyes have large lenses, even though they also have round pupils like ours. While a small pet cat has vertical slits, that's not what large cat species possess. Like the aperture in a camera, the pupil's function is to regulate the amount of light that enters the eye by constricting or closing and dilating or opening the pupil and it comes in lots of different shapes in nature. For example, cuttlefish have pupils that look like the letter W and dolphins have pupils shaped like crescents. In general, cats require only about one-sixth the light humans do to see. Round pupils are associated with active foragers, taller animals such as wolves, lions and tigers that chase down their prey. Animals with horizontally elongated pupils tended to be plant-eating prey species with eyes located on the sides of their head, for instance deer, sheep and horses. This shape and placement gives these animals a panoramic view so they can scan for danger in all directions while grazing. Tigers have forward-facing eyes like ours rather than one on each side of their head like say you see in a cow or a deer. This provides them with binocular vision because each eye's field of vision overlaps creating a three-dimensional image. Binocular vision is a type of vision in which an animal has two eyes capable of facing the same direction to perceive a single three-dimensional image of its surroundings. Like us, this binocular vision enables tigers to accurately assess distances and depth which are extremely useful parameters for maneuvering within their complex environment and stalking prey. And they have more rod receptors in their retina, which is responsible for visual acuity for shapes in their eyes than cone receptors, which is responsible for color vision. This assists them with far better night vision than us. On the other hand, we have higher concentration of cone receptors, which enables us to see color better but we can't fathom things in darkness, while the increased number of rods allows tigers to detect movement of prey in darkness where color vision would not be useful. There is some debate about how much color tigers can actually see. 
Until recent times, it was considered that felids were colorblind, but it has now been established that green, blue, and yellow may be recognized, along with various shades of gray. So, unlike humans, tigers cannot glimpse millions of color shades. They witness the world in blue, yellowish green, and grayish shades the most. Also, it is assumed by some researchers that tigers may sense red too in dull shades. However, it is not proven conclusively yet. Also, tigers have a structure at the back of their eye, a thin reflective membrane behind the retina called the tapetum lucidum that enhances the visual sensitivity in low light conditions with the help of the light sensitive retinal cells, enabling them to have exceptionally better night vision. Isn't this creation amazing? Now let's talk about the range of vision. On a clear day with no horizon obstruction, we can see anywhere between 3 miles to 30 miles. I am not talking about a myopic person like me, who without spectacle finds this world very vague. But normal human vision range is actually infinite. There is no practical limit to how far the naked and healthy human eye can see. Just that several factors affect the distance we can see. For an unobstructed and unpolluted view, the farthest object an unaided keen human eye can see is the Triangulum Galaxy or Messier 33. The galaxy is located about 3 million light years away from Earth and can be seen under clear and dark skies. The many bright stars in the galaxy produce enough light for photons to excite our retina. On a global scale, you can see up to about 3 miles or 5 kilometers before the horizon becomes the limit because of Earth's curvature. And yet, some people still believe that the Earth is flat. Well, perhaps because from a high vantage point like a skyscraper, plane or mountain top, their eyes can see objects hundreds of miles away. What about tigers? From an evolutionary perspective, it is no surprise that tigers possess some of the keenest sensory organs of any terrestrial mammal. In terms of visual acuity, tigers are estimated to have 2050 vision, meaning they can see at distances 20 feet away what humans can discern 50 feet away. At night, this eyesight is even more remarkable. It has been suggested that tigers may be able to observe objects up to 300 meters away under optimal conditions. Despite all this, great difficulty may be experienced in seeing stationary objects, particularly if the cat is in moonlight and the prey animal lying in a shadow. A calf that is about 5 meters away may well be invisible unless it moves, though only an ear twitch is required for detection. Fortunately for the tiger, but unfortunately for the prey species, in the presence of a prowling cat, other animals tend to become nervous and start to move, drawing attention to themselves. As mentioned before, at night, tigers catch sight of its surrounding with the help of tapetum lucidum, and in the full moon night, they spot everything as bright as day with white and black shades. However, newborn tigers are born blind and they don't open their eyes for a week or two after they are born. After this period of blindness, their vision begins to improve, although it takes several months for them to be able to rely on their eyesight for most of their activities. Uh, their vision continues to improve until they reach full maturity, that is when they are around 2 years old. Let me know in comment if you enjoyed this video or share your thoughts if anything particular stands out here, then I will make more videos like this. And if you want to share anything about feline vision which is not mentioned here, you are most welcome. Let me learn from you too. By the way, the second uh, episode of Kazadanga Chronicle has elaborate real-time depiction and explanation of tiger alarm calls among several other animal vocalizations and magical wildlife moments like marmoration. So check it out. Keep on observing the world around it.